Hey guys, welcome back to Twitch Plays Kerbal Space Program Career Mode Madness. And look, I've got some new clouds. Aren't they lovely? They're beautiful. We'll, we'll, we'll have a look at those when we're flying. But we have just got back from a moon flyby and oh, oh, I thought that was going to be so easy. And it literally just, it took days and days to sort out. There would be a link probably in the top left somewhere to go and see that. Uh, if not, well you know have a go at me or something but what are we going to do today well if we come in the sea gene oh, hey up man i think there are two sort of groundbreaking contracts things that we haven't done before that kind of play well with each other so if we do this rendezvous two vessels in orbit and at the same time we could probably go and rescue someone my plan here is is we have one manned vessel and one unmanned vessel with the option of being manned uh, we send both up the unmanned one goes and rendezvous with the guy that we're trying to save um and stuff like that and then we make the second rendezvous, and that should all be good. Okay, so with that in mind, let's go and do some sciencing. Uh, what I want to spend my science on is bigger fuel tanks, because I've, I've had enough of trying to like fit stuff in and tiny fuel tanks and, and make it all work and stuff like that, because that's rubbish. And secondly, solar panels, because we don't have a way of making electricity other than the alternators in our, in our um, engines. And whilst those are all good, it's not quite the way I want to be going forward. So there we go. That's, that's all that done. I suppose the only thing really left to do now is go and design some new vessels. So I will see you... Yeah, it's going to be like three seconds for you, right? Well, it turned out to be a little less than three seconds, but I've had some like trials and tribulations in the meantime. Uh, the main thing that really did worry me was when I took on this, uh, what was it, the um, uh, rendezvous contract here, I was like, oh no, I haven't picked up any docking ports. But of course, that's not what rendezvous is. That's docking. But anyway, should we um, hit, hit go? Let's go. Uh, so my major plan right now is I've kind of messed it up, haven't I? Where is he? This is the guy we've got to try and get him from. Um, we can't set target, of course, because we are early in our career mode uh, and we are not leaning over enough yet. So there we go. Uh, launch is going well already, but such a launch is relatively common for me. So we're dumping our uh, first booster stage and having quite a nice explosion as we're passing through our lovely volumetric uh, clouds here, obviously brought in by the Environmental Visual Enhancements mod. That, that was amazing. I, I really thought that maybe my computer was kind of pushing the limit a bit much to be able to run this well, but it turns out, of course, my computer doesn't struggle with visual stuff. It struggles with the number of parts on screen at any one time. So all this sort of stuff is amazing to put on there. At about 20 kilometers or so, I've realized that I am, well, one, running at something like three quarters throttle. And so that has led to two, had far too much of a shallow uh, flight path but this is all right we, we can kind of deal with that we are trying to get ourselves into quite a low orbit anyway so we want maximum forward velocity with a little bit of upwards velocity going in there we're put, trying to put our apple apps somewhere around the I don't know, 80 kilometer mark this is because this is just below the orbital height of the guy we're going to go save uh, and we have managed to uh, run out of fuel well i say run out of fuel we've managed to do that maneuver with one unit of liquid fuel left in this bottom tank here so we're going to come up to our apple apsis and just like burn a little bit and then burn with this uh, major tank here well i say major tank the the secondary tank up on top here Right, so my major plan is to try and make myself have a smaller orbit as possible so that we can get up there and catch up with this vessel that is already up in orbit. The ideal way to have done this would have been to wait until he was maybe quarter of the sphere um, behind my orbit, if you will, so that when we're taking time to go up and have our orbital ascent, he is then catching up, and then we would have both met up at the same time. But unfortunately, uh, as I indicated at the beginning, I messed it up a little bit and waited too long. So it's about here that I'm like, maybe I should go back and get the maneuver nodes and stuff like that because I could really use some targeting stuff. So there are two buildings I want to upgrade here, both the mission control and the tracking center. Now I could just upgrade the tracking center and leave it there. Uh, this has given me things like my Apple apps and Perry apps, the ability to get my rendezvous markers up, uh, things like orbital inclination, the descending nodes and stuff like that. That is all now on my map and stuff. But one thing I would also like to do, just because, you know, I've got the spare money and it'll be... What was that? Anyway, I've got the spare money and everything should be fine. So let's, let's go for the flight planning as well. Get some, like, maneuver nodes down. What, what did blow up? I, I swore I did... Was that, was that on here or was that outside? I don't know, I'll find out at some point. So anyway, let's just go back and get, get going. 
Okay, so for reasons of convenience, I'm letting this run at, ooh, what are we at, 50 times speed for a little bit here. And we're just waiting for our uh, nodes to get a little bit closer together. These obviously have been put in place by the tracking center. Uh, and we're just waiting for them to get, I don't know, close enough to be able to go, right, with the fuel we've got, maybe if we make a little bit of a burn here and there, we could, we could get a little bit closer. My plan is that when we're down, I don't know, maybe somewhere here, let's let's put let's put a maneuver in place uh we could then let's switch focus to kerbin one of the few times it's actually useful we could then push our orbit up and hopefully at some point bring our two orbital there we go like this it's like so and it's still 300 delta v that excuse me delta v and that's quite a lot given how much fuel we've got but that, that should be all right hopefully I'm, I'm hoping so i do know that when i mouse over this all my my nodes disappear it's um, very interesting, isn't it? Uh, so let's try and wait and see if our, our place can get a little bit closer. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna time warp like, my way through here. So yeah, I should imagine there'll be a little bit of sped up film, um, possibly like editing me talking over the top of it, and then we'll come back to well doing this. And I guess correct. Hey guys, editing me. So you see me mucking around with a few maneuver nodes here and trying to sort things out. What I was trying to do was see if uh, going for a bigger orbit at any point became more efficient than just waiting. Because you all know me, my my patience isn't particularly great. But at this point, actually, it's more efficient just to wait because every time we go around an orbit, we get a little bit closer. And obviously, going for a bigger orbit is about um, us taking longer so we're actually getting further and further away from that position all the time but one thing i did do was uh, sort out my inclination i got the ascending nose sorted and brought my peri apps not my peri apps my apple apps down just a little bit more so that you know we get catch up there even quicker okay so now that my uh intersect distance is less than like 50 kilometers 50 kilometers is kind of what i aim for for like a minimum uh close approach uh, i'm starting to switch the target view and start thinking about how we're gonna like meet up here so if we start like dropping our speed now that we're coming close to periaps uh times 10 is quite fast but we're, we're getting even closer still so if i come in and now start thinking about what we're gonna do so it, it is well within visual range over there we can see it uh, and what i want to do is kind of push my prograde marker my retrograde marker here to try and line up with the little pink markers now obviously the 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 prograde no, sorry the retrograde needs to match up with the retrograde and the prograde needs to match up with the prograde um which you know should be easy enough to do we do things like this and then we give it a little little push this way and then we are once they are over the top here headed for a collision course or close enough like so much so that the the computer's a little bit confused here that, that's fair enough though we can do that now if we turn around here and start pushing towards rather than away we should be able to get there a little bit closer uh, I always like to do most of my steering via the braking mechanism because, well, I don't really want to be going into my targets at like maximum velocity. That, that always leads to issues, especially if you're going at over 100 meters per second towards something like that. It, it takes a lot longer to stop than you realize, uh, or at least than I realize. Uh, coming in at like ooh, 50 kilometers per second, uh, not 50 kilometers, 50 meters per second should cover a few kilometers like this in good time and hopefully get us pushing in the right direction. Now, maybe if I give it a little bit more oomph this way, but that was far too much. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Okay, if we give it a little bit more oomph this way, we should hopefully start swinging towards. Just looking for our targeting reticule there to start coming into place. Um, I was kind of aiming for somewhere between both that pink marker and this pink marker so that we could just like move our direction without changing our velocity too much. Oh, look, we've got a, a solar eclipse coming up. Aren't we? Not a, yeah, solar eclipse coming up. Uh, that should be pretty cool. Okay, so we're coming in within a couple of kilometers here. Uh, definitely getting to the point where we can start thinking about slowing down rather than speeding up. Uh, so that should be all good. <coughs> Aiming a little bit. Which way is this? A little bit north. So let, let's try and ease that down a little bit. Uh, the main thing to remember here is when you are looking towards your retrograde, you are pushing it, uh, pushing the marker. Whereas if you're looking towards your prograde, you are pulling the marker. Um, so you know which which direction things are going to be going when you start pushing things around and stuff like that it, it's good to keep those sort of things in mind because else you end up like doing all sorts of uh, damage to your trajectory rather than fixing it and uh, it can get a little bit awkward okay so we seem to be coming in a little bit to the side of it that's fine i mean the, one of the things i really didn't want to do was just smash into it at full throttle that that would have been slightly embarrassing um 
Okay, so here we go. Less than 100 metres, time to start thinking about stopping. Still headed towards it a little bit. That's fine. Uh, I may have slightly overcooked the braking manoeuvre there, but we can do stuff about that most definitely. Um, maybe that was just a little bit too much. Yeah, no, that was definitely too much. So we're going to come over here and give it a little bit this way again. Just like that. Uh, it's, it's really not taking much. And le uh, less than 100 metres, we could get these guys out and start flying around and doing all stuff like that. We've got a, a little thing here. What's that about? Rendezvous two or two two things. Oh, okay. Well, I was expecting to lift another another vessel to be able to do that to have to do that, but th this works for me. Ah, ah, ne nearly works for me. Uh, so this is visual range, is it? This is visual range. Uh, we're coming in slow. Uh, this is one thing that I, I always come in slow because. Well, as I say, I've had more than a few collisions in my time, and it's not really something that I, I want to, to do over and over and over again. Okay, so we're coming in uh, less than 50 metres or so. It's kind of the idea to be pushing. Oh, a little bit too far that time. A little bit too far that time. Maybe it's time to start thinking about this side. There we go, just like that. Just like that. Um, and drifting. This is, this is the worst bit, it's just the drifting. It's just the waiting and the slowly getting closer and closer. Um, it takes time, it always takes time. Okay, so how's this guy gone and got himself stuck out here? This is this is the main question. How has he gone and got himself stuck out here? I wish I had a little bit of RCS. This would definitely make things uh, much easier. But there we go. Okay, let's switch over here. Hey, dude, you seem to just be in a pod for no reason. Has this got no... No control, no power, no nothing. So, if we were really good, we could come up here with the attachment system and get this back, right? I reckon we could. Anyway, so, here we are. We've got her out. We're going to fly over towards this vessel here. Um, this is good. This is amazingly good. I was really expecting this to be just like the first stage of a two-stage mission. Um, but it turns out this is good enough. This is good enough. Uh, we've got a message. Oh, we've been ad we've added someone to our equip to our crew. That That's cool. Okay, so we're going to come in here and we're going to try and get ourselves into here. Grab, grab, no. Press the wrong button at the wrong time and suddenly everything's going wrong. There we go. So we grab it. We got it. Can we board? We can board. Okay, awesome. So, Catty, who are you? What do you do? You don't appear to have the uh, the greatest amount of EVA experience. Not EVA. Uh, well, SAS power experience thingy uh but that's all right we can we can deal with that uh so i'm going to come out here we're going to leave this bit of debris up here for now um and we are coming over is this the desert do you reckon this kind of looks like where we're supposed to be going look at these city lights though aren't they amazing uh i'm always a bit dubious about the city lights because every now and then when i when i put them on it covers the entire globe in just wall-to-wall -wall city and that, i mean it kind of looks all right but at the same time oh my god what i don't want that uh okay so i know that we are supposed to be coming in somewhere somewhere soon um so i think what we're going to do is just kind of carry on drifting until we see some desert because that's definitely something we need to do. It's a shame we couldn't bring this back. Oh, look, she's an engineer. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. I, I, I like that a lot. Okay, so here are some, some mountains sticking out. Kind of looks all right, but kind of looks a little bit naff. Uh, that is, of course, the crater, uh, which means this is going to be the desert here, and then this is where we're aiming for. Mm, maybe. Maybe that's kind of what we want to do. Maybe not. I mean, look how close that is getting. That's, that's awesome. That's awesome, awesome. Okay, we're going to time warp our way around. I don't really want to come down on the uh, the night side. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait until we sun see sunshine. And then we're just going to bring it home. Because, well, you know, who, who cares about things like, I don't know, coming back at the at the thing that the extra point something percent isn't really going to do too much for me uh, i didn't want the inventory in fact what i wanted was a crew report did we get it uh, in space near kerbin that, that's rubbish but we can do an eva hey do an eva report i believe in space above kerbin's deserts okay awesome that's the sort of stuff we want and we get back in <coughs> well it's as simple as that isn't it so if that's the desert do we want to come back home no we, we actually want to go all the way through. Um, I like the way that, you know, there are waters coming through the cities. That's, that's kind of interesting. But we'll see what happens when we come around here. Can we get an EVA here? Is, is this some more science here? EVA report, more science. Brilliant. Sort of stuff we like. 
maybe if we're really good we can even get an EVA over the grasslands. Uh, I can't quite tell which biome we're over at this present moment in time, but it's kind of just going to have to do as it is, right? Just kind of have to do as it is. EVA report, just above the water, I believe we've already got that one, but we're going to carry on. Uh, dump it experiments, yep. And can't have more than one of the same thing, it turns out. And we are just coming into sunlight here, so it's about time to start thinking... Oh, that's still above the water. Okay. It's time to start thinking about coming home. Okay, let's point retrograde. Wow. Ah, uh, we're not going to quite be able to see the uh, the eclipse as it comes through, but that, that's all right. That's all right. Are we going to aim for some ground, or are we just going to... Excuse me. Are we going to aim for the ground, or are we just going to have a cruising, grazing deceleration burn. I think we're going to just have a cruising, grazing, acceleration, deceleration burn. It might even give us chance to see the eclipse. And that would be good. I, I would like the eclipse. Oh, stop. Stop. I would like to see the eclipse. That would be amazing. Okay, here we go. We are falling down. Maybe I could have got behind the debris and given it a push. But here we go. We are falling down now. We're going to wait and see if the moon gets anywhere near close to where it needs to be. But I think we've got days to wait yet. Maybe a day in and of itself. But here we go. Uh, falling down towards some water. Could have been worse. Could have been better. Uh, I'm kind of liking it. I'm kind of liking it. Okay, so we are down below 70 kilometers. Uh, I've asked you not to show me that again quite a few times now. Um, so here we go. Coming down. The retrograde wobble is intense, so I'm going to just put on to steering assist. Still the moon so far away. So far away. Uh, and coming down pretty hard, actually. Um, so do we need to jettison our fuel tank? Probably. Probably is the answer there. Um, though we could probably actually, if that survives, take everything with us. Um, can we get an EVA report? Can we get a crew report? Let's get a crew report. No, no, no good getting a crew report up here. Okay, so looking good, looking looking fine. I, I'm worried about what's going to explode. Like we got batteries here, and we've got like probe cores and stuff like that. These parachutes are also looking pretty pretty sketchy uh indeed there the um batteries are starting to go already let's not turn the parachutes up oh oh everything's just going to explode isn't it uh let's point retrograde of course let's turn the time acceleration down we are plummeting fast we're plummeting hard we're just about to come through the cloud layer which means we have something like five kilometers to go through uh, one thing I had noticed with uh, like testings and stuff earlier on is like the cloud layers are about far, uh, so somewhere between four and a half and like nine kilometers. Okay, so how how close are we getting here? Uh, getting very close indeed, actually. It's a shame we can um, pop our heat shield next. We we got down a massive one point of our ablation there. I mean, look at that, Ma massive. Uh, and we are getting very close to hitting the floor now. Maybe if I look this way, we'll know when the ground's coming up because suddenly everything will start coming towards me. I don't know, I don't know. But, wow, long. Should we should we speed it up a little bit? Just see when the ground's actually going to bother coming up and, and meeting us. I mean, this three three metres falling is a bit much. It's a bit much. Maybe we could have gone with a few less parachutes. Okay, here we go. The ground is coming up. And despite a few hiccups, here we go. We are done. Yeah, let's recover this vessel. And welcome Catty onto our team. That's quite good. Another engineer. Um, I haven't really clicked the recover, so let's do that properly. All right, looking good. Katty Kerman has earned herself some ribbons. She got some research. She got landed on Kerbin, EVA, on Kerbin and out. Um, <laughs> was not in a stable orbit. That would be the one in the atmosphere, right? Uh, that was good. And uh, first Kerbin orbital EVA for being the first Kerbin in EVA on a stable orbit around Kerbin. I'm sure Valentina did that. I'm sure Valentina did that. But anyway, here we go. Uh, go around, get some science. That was good. We got more money. M money's what it's all about, obviously. And we got Katty Kerman. Two experience gains. She has got herself a level. Yeah. Well, at least we've got a leveled up uh, engineer. And with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. I will see you next time where... I don't know. Let's let's have a look in here. We're going to do something on this. Maybe plant a flag on the moon. Something we've not done, right? Let's get, let's get a moon mission together. Yeah. No, that sounds good. So, I will see you next time when we're going to do that. Bye!